This is the time on Plus TV Africa where we bring to you the biggest sentiment stories and definitely talk about them to our satisfaction. My name is Elsie Godwin and I have my very interesting co anchor to me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwashoke. Okay. Well, How's it going? It's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. What? Nothing. Tell us. Just take your mind. Say it as you feel it. No, I'm not feeling anything. You know? Ah. Ah. I'm serious. Okay, moving on. Um, Adekunle Gold activates mobile listening party for upcoming album. According to the message he shared on his Twitter page on Tuesday, he said since COVID cancelled the listening party plans, he's taking himself and the listening party to some special fans at their homes starting today. Um, he shared a picture of a van with the inscription Adekunle Gold Afro Pop Volume 1. Mm. Also, I saw someone tweeted saying he wasn't at home, so he missed the van coming to his house i don't know if that was for clouds or real so i'm guessing it mm. has started and people are they're visiting people already that is cool mm -hmm. i feel like it's because it's such a new initiative that i haven't seen before mm -hmm. in this setting i like <laughs> um the listening party thing that he used to do is actually a vibe i've attended one before and his normal listening yes party. where okay. you're in the booth and then you like okay it's, okay amazing like the idea the vibe the, like <laughs> it's, it's nice i feel like maybe that's one of the reasons why i can't listen to it good after that because there's no experience that beats that so i think for people who are a lot more you know i guess bigger fans if you could say um this is also a big deal for them to still have that personal interaction with the album and stuff like that i think it's a really good idea um obviously they're not going to interact with covid and everything is still not a problem so i hope we can get to many people and we can start to see that on instagram i'm hoping his van will come rather. this way so we can chill inside like i feel like they've probably far. already figured out who they where they're going yeah, right yeah. i think so <laughs> It's a work on development, obviously, because and like you said, it's a new initiative. We haven't seen this before. And, you know, it's always good to keep it fresh. And there's something about Adekunle Gold and keeping it fresh right now. Like, Adekunle mm. Gold is actually keeping it fresh. It is, looks are fresh. Mm. It's not looking different. It's yeah, yeah. It's, no, no, when I say vibe, fresh, okay. I, I don't, I'm not saying whether it's good or bad for anybody. But it's just opinion, fresh. But it's something new. It's yeah. not what we used to know. He plays around him. his looks so yeah. often anyway. It's not what we used to know him to look like. Now it's beginning to look different. Different. So it's a fresh look, fresh music, fresh sound. Sometimes it's, it looks fresh to see me. That's all that matters. It's right? moving into <laughs> pop now, which is a fresh sound for him mm. as well. And you know, all of that. So I like the fact that this guy is evolving. He's not mm. staying in one spot. On one spot, I mean, and not evolving. He's, you know, he's growing. You can actually see his musical growth. You can yeah. see the growth in his journey. You can see everything. So I think only gold, I don't know if he's not a motivation to upcoming artists then. Everything you're saying really. is just reminding me of our next story, but unless you land. <laughs> but big big shout out to Adekunle Gold for always, you know, thinking outside the box. Yeah. I don't even think he sees mm -hmm. a box. I think the box is just absolutely yeah. not there. He just thinks. And True. A for effort, I have to say. I think he always acts busy. Mm -hmm. And he's somebody that doesn't vibe me like, you know, sort of has made him lazy or anything like yeah. that, which is very common. Um, I feel anything is getting better. I, I have to agree. Mm -hmm. So I hope, that, I really hope that this album brings a lot of success. I feel like he needs to also start getting some type of bagging of, you know, bragging rights for certain awards and numbers and things like that. Like, I yeah. hope it starts to convert. Mm -hmm. But do you guys so, like AG Baby's new song though? AG Baby, it's your beat. No. It's not that one. Give me that, give me that, that Bob. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, I like yeah. it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I like, that. I like yeah. it. That's a vibe. So that, that's is that vibe. part of this album? Now that's, I don't know. That's the song that you say you heard in the in the club and then people went crazy. Not the Tiwa Savage Kuroba. song. Yeah, not that one. That song is a vibe. This one that you're talking about mm. is a vibe. If I went crazy on Kuroba, what is your, is it your crazy? I do Did you ever go crazy? He did exactly. though. Oh. How did you know? Ah, why is he saying that? You said it on the table now. No, he said it. And I used to believe you. The way you are saying it is so much confident, as if we did together. <laughs> now, nah, it's looking like you are beginning to doubt you. <laughs> no, you the way you said it is, though. Even me, I was not beginning. Ah, did I go that crazy? But <laughs> well, I'm supporting like, you now. I appreciate you, though. But, <laughs> but you're not going that crazy. You, 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 are too, you are too crazy for me <laughs> on my behalf. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 on, on the real though, I think big shout out to Adekule for this one. Yeah. I think we saw this, um I can't remember who did it now, that they moved from one person's house to another Ooh. for them to do. Um it was a house party um movement thing, so it was a collaboration with Files and a brand. Yes, yeah, thank so, you very yeah. much. Yeah. I know they were moving from 
not an album, it was just a house party, but they were bringing it to your house. So yeah. if you're a fan and you win, you just, uh, not yeah. even win, they won't announce it to you, you just see them on, at your Yeah, so I think I think yeah. without that type of vibe, but for a listening party, you mm -hmm. know, you're going to the grassroots. And like you said, some people have been picked because of the You say he's going to the grassroots. Huh? Did you just say he's going to the grassroots? No, I'm, I'm saying I wish they could actually go to the oh, grassroots okay. as okay. well, you know. So, but like we, we you said, I'm they, sure the people have been picked already. Mm. And because if they're coming to the grassroots, they should be picked, you know, from the grassroots. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we have a grassroots representative on this uh, table. Yeah. So it doesn't look like we are not oh, um, society balanced. Yeah, yeah. no, it's fine. Thank so you're, you're not from the grassroots. It's fine. It's fine. I, I own it. It's fine. I own it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please moving on, Jerry. <laughs> you have nothing to prove again, and this is Bonner Boy psyching Whiskey as they link up in London. Hmm. Do you want me to go first? Yes. Whiskey. Don't listen to your village people talking through Bonner Boy, yo. <laughs> you have something to prove, yo. You do. You do. Hmm. You okay. Do. Look at. I mean, that was why I said why we were talking about Adekule Good and how he evolves. This story was just in my head, like. Dude, you need to get back into the studio and give us music. I remember when you were saying the last time that he has gotten, he has rise to that point where even if he gives us video, he grows on us and we love it, right? And you know how music is. Once your mind gets in tune with it, it becomes a good thing, right? So mm -hmm. I think he still has a lot of work to do. Maybe not prove himself, prove himself. I get what Bonaboy yeah, is trying to say, yeah. but he really needs to keep up the pace if he wants to be there yeah. for a longer time. Because yeah. Bonaboy has passed you. He's just like him. In terms of numbers... Currently, boy has passed whiskey. currently, sorry, Sam, I forgot that you're here. It's a mistake. <laughs> I just, I think, I think if you say currently, like in terms Cor of, yeah, what has whiskey bagged this year in terms of accolades? Anything? Just give me Everything one thing. Everything Boy has bagged in terms of. I'm saying this year, well, currently. That's what we're talking about, okay. Ife. Calm maybe, down. maybe just this year. Because if fine. it's not about this year, obviously his statement is right, and also has already said that that he has proven to us that he mm -hmm. is a. Quote unquote giant. I'm going to borrow uh, Burner Boy's uh, um, accolades now. Why, well, the nobody's, giants are the giants. <laughs> nobody's disputing the fact that um, Whiskey. Whiskey is one of the best things that have, that have come out of somebody. Africa. That's not the point. We're just saying, as of the moment that we speak on, how do I explain it? You know, when, when you in like the boxing room where somebody gets the championship, whatever. It's not just about you owning that belt. You have to keep on defend playing it. once in a yes, that's the word, to defend it. I don't think Whiskey is doing a very good job in defending that title personally. But if if we with Bernard Boy's statements as the story is, yeah, he said he said everything. He said what he yeah, said. Period. said and that's correct. But my god, you, you know, it's 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 okay. It's okay to say things like that, yeah. Because um <laughs> you you because you guys always give us a chance to always brag, you understand? Mm. Like a lot I'm good I'm gonna have to bring football into this. I don't watch football, I don't know a lot so why about, bringing in football? about football. Let's see what he's bringing. Okay. But I know as no one um FA Cup, FA Cup recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they are going gaga. Everybody saying people are like, ah, your shelf has been dusty. Now you have it. But they have it, right? Mm -hmm. And it would always be part of their story that they mm -hmm. won their cup. No matter what you do, you can't take that away. So where I'm going with this is that they've won so many FA Cups anyway. People kept on dragging them until they had to win this one again. Well, what I'm where I'm going to with this is that mm -hmm. look, the fact that right now we're probably our uh, the shelf is probably dusty doesn't mean that what we have in there, it's but not the, there. it's still there. But did you, you hear when she talked but, about kind of defending your belt. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what it. I'm getting to. And defending it now, I think with the level or with the standard of singles that he has put out this year, for me, it's still doing a very good job. For me, I that's why I said. I smile, though. Her smile. I yeah, love it's still doing a very good job. And then when you're talking about what, it's not just about awards now. That's when the only time you're winning music. Thank you. Let's talk about songs, please. What's great about the songs that he has been dropping lately? That's why I said to me. Because that's even worse. It's not your I feel like his digitals you can brag on because it's whiskey. As long as that name I mean, is there. You about do well in terms of pushing and awards and all that. I don't even care about that. You know that. what? You go I'm to talking about Let me talk about streams. recent I'm talking club about global experience. Stream. I'm sorry to confess that I've gone to club. But yeah, recent <laughs> club experience. When? Hold on. Oh, wow. Before you hear whiskey's song come up, Eh? You've heard like a Bonner boy. You've yeah. heard Kiss Daniel. You've heard a David Doe. I, I was looking at something, I, I think it was early this morning when I saw the top three artists in Nigeria. They're actually Bonner boy, Kiss Daniel, and I need to remember the third person now. David I think it was David Doe. Mm. So, and this is based on streams and what is going on currently at the moment. So, nobody's arguing the fact that Whiskey is, I can use the word legend, if that will make yeah. you happy. Like, he is big. We love him. But he needs to he get into the, the studio. He is the standard they're trying to meet. 
No anymore, fam. I disagree. <laughs> I really disagree. I think okay. his sound is very old now. You cannot say that Burna Boy sound is trying to meet. It has met him. It has left uh -uh. Whiskey. It's going somewhere else, fam. Burna Boy, the one thing you cannot take away from Burna Boy is that he brings a new vibe that we haven't seen before. One thing a lot of people you can't say do that he's not trying to make. Jora, that what Whiskey, was, what, whiskey see, has never sold you lyrics. That's what Why? Really? Whiskey has never, ever, ever did sold you. Did you ever listen to Starboy album? With, did you listen to yes. that with Whiskey? That whiskey all? never, ever sold What's that song that actually gave lyrics. him a lot of recognition now? Please remind oh, me. Oh, Ojo Elegba, are you saying you did not sell lyrics? lyrics. No, it, what lyrics? You want to compare Ojo Elegba's lyrics to Joe? I'm giving thanks for life. Did you listen to that song? Wow. I can't explain. You see, this you is what you're saying. There's no story in that song. There's Whis no lyrics not, in that I'm song. I'm not talking about story now. I'm telling you that Whiskey's selling points. Whiskey's selling points has it's, never it's been lyrics. It's, it's sound. Whiskey. It's vibe. Wow. And it still keeps giving us that. So I don't know. I think you have to. I'm not even sure which kid will agree with you. So let me not argue mm. this matter. Continue. Because I feel like I feel like that's the problem. Agree with when me your because leader he gives you the sound nothing man, to. Remember? Mm. When your leader gives you nothing to defend, you start to. He gives you sound. So what will you talk say about Kiss Daniel sounds? Because even if you don't, Kiss Daniel has a sound that even if you don't like what he's saying in his songs, you are vibing to it. So what are you going to say? But there's when no you have way you will not Kiz like Daniel what Kiss Daniel is saying in the song because Kiss Daniel is a storyteller. I think that Bernard, um, Whiskey is not. Okay, it's I not think a storyteller. Uh, is that the problem? When they give, when your leader gives you nothing to hold on to, mm. you not be just a, hey. This is how they have to, to, uh, uh, have to hold on to something. Whiskey, help my, well, help my brother. Well, please. but at the end of the day, when you say, I just think we should retract that when you're saying that ah, uh, what a Bernard boy um, Whiskey. Like, no. What a whiskey that is. A Bonner boy is we trying to attain it. it. Yeah, he's trying to attain okay. it. Whiskey actually has a Grammy to his name. You guys know that, right? It has a what? Grammy to no. his name. Even though it's not a song, but it's part of the <laughs> co-writer. Uncle has been his, nominated his name is by himself there. on his own set. Please, you really own to album. Those do you really brands? want to do that? Do you really want to compare ha! that? Winning and nomination. Well, no, on a nominated. body of work that is yours. Okay. Ha. That's fine. time, we'll be right back after the short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I they see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal IU. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Not starting a gender war and no disrespect to all the hardworking kings, but the women have really lifted our industry. Is it safe or correct to say that we have a very gender balanced industry at the moment, even if unintentionally? And of course, this tweet is coming from Nollywood actor Femi Jacobs. Uh, first of all, it's unintentional. Okay. Unintentionally, it's yeah. bad. Now. But yeah, <laughs> I like how he. Um, just many English you oh, just, I mean, just, just take it like that. We've seen, you know. we've seen plenty that we used to leave them. No, now. I just felt like doing that today. Whatever. You've done anyway, it. I'm not period. Period. <laughs> anyway, I like that he was trading carefully because um, a man um, talking about a woman in today's world is really sensitive, even when it is a compliment because it can start to look like you are being patronizing and things like that. So I like that he's he conscious. chose his words carefully. Yes. I like that he mark. was. Um, in, um, careful and well, intentional about not being offensive even though he wanted to pass his mes message across and I, I'm up for that vibe I think that's the culture that I want in general for both for everybody when you are talking addressing speaking about anything or, or interacting with somebody be intentional about trying not to be offensive so I respect that uh, do, do, is it that is balanced I, I, I don't know I think that the industry is a lot more complicated than that I, I don't think it's about how many female actors and, and how many male actors we have and then you now say it's balanced I think it's 
more than that? Is it balancing the things that count? Is it balancing the way they get into the industry, first of all? Does the man and a does a man and a woman have the same opportunity to prove themselves without doing any extra equally? Is the pay equal? Until we have conversations like that, I think just saying that in terms of population count that they are um, represented properly. Maybe that's not what he's trying to explain. I don't explain, think he was talking about population that's how I saw count. It. I think he was talking about um, filmmaking and people that are making, I mean, this is my opinion of what he's mm. saying, on films that are actually banging now and getting the awards, getting the nominations, putting mm. us in the global map, if I can say that. Yeah. So, and I mean, people that come to mind are people like Omoni Oboli, Kemi Adetiba, um, Moabudu, um, Jade Osiberu, like there are a lot of them and they are doing it and once you look at this movie, it's getting the numbers in the cinemas and getting to Netflix and you go back to see who is the executive producer, who is the director, who is um, doing it. So they are taking the roles that um, say 10 years ago you'd expect um, it should just be like the Neil norm for you to see a man to be mm. the director, to be the producer, to be the executive director. I think that is where he's coming from. And I want to say that when <clears> it comes <throat> to pay disparity or even how they get into the industry, it will be very difficult for her to have that conversation because even we as a team on this table have tried to do a report regarding that. And you know our culture of not talking mm. and not saying things the way they are. You can't really understand what is going there. But even the men will come out to tell you, you know what, everybody has a level playing, playing field. When it comes to acting, it's about the script. You cannot take a man to act a woman's role. You cannot take mm. a woman to act a man's role. So I'm looking at it. If I'm going to even feel like there's an imbalance in the industry, I'll probably feel like the men are not getting enough recognition or enough space. But then they've been there for the longest of times. So I think that we're getting to that point where I would say there is a balance. But have we attained that complete balance? I'm not sure we have. Not in terms of pay and anything, but in, in, in terms of... Um, the production and how everybody is brought to the table when there is a conversation mm -hmm. that moves the industry forward. For I me. think the one thing that I thought about when I was reading the story was when AY, um, I think there's a bunch of other people, there was a list of, I think, most earned, uh, most something was gross paid. End. Yes, gross, gross end. end. Yeah. Thing and they did for men and for women because but first in of all, Nigeria. they did yes okay. they first did for men and then there was a backlash and then they brought out for women mm -hmm. there is a number um, um uh, what's it called the financial disparity for sure but the people are doing well this is not and just people actors. are doing different things yeah still mm, still but no. uh <coughs> sorry before you land in I liked that there are still people that are that list for me was balanced I feel like they were the same mm. numbers and they were still in the same category yes okay. there was um a bit of a difference in terms of figures but it wasn't like drastic in, in comparison to other other industries that you we can start to talk about later mm -hmm. but i like that there was there was that list that came out to see even though some of the names are really surprised like ike Chuku was on that list and so which i would be i wouldn't even think about him as someone that was earning a lot in From terms acting. of acting so yeah. um that but that for me is another addition to this type of story and as much as we want to say we live in a patriarchal society and women are not really given um chances and stuff but the ones that are given the chance even no the matter ones that are taking the chances they're making the no, chances no, themselves the one that are given the chance the ones that are taking the chances the ones that are making the chances the one that have it the one that are in that position no matter regardless of how they got there listen, we listen, have to listen. be very very <laughs> honest with ourselves that they're actually putting in the work Mm. Of course, they are putting it. in the work because you you can you can you there can blame be a, a woman ah, it's because she knows this person. But when she knew, after she knew, got to know that there person, should not, there shouldn't even be anything surprising about women doing well. That's not that should not even be the point of conversation. No, that's not the point of conversation. Okay. That even after you say it's because this person knows this person, right? When They're that person got that position, that the person sits on their yeah. hands and not do anything, yeah. they still use what they have to get. To a certain level, yeah. and they are still improving themselves on a daily. Should we say, that's, and should we say the same thing for copy then? Should we say what? The same thing for copy. Uh, copy. She's not sitting on her hand. She's working. Yeah, She's exactly. putting in the work. Uh, so yeah, that's great. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. In all sectors, you know, regardless, I think you can hate on women and be like, ah, it's because they're this, it's because you're beautiful, it's because you're light skinned, it's because you have a big booty. Because you have a big behind and all that, yeah. We already had the first one. <laughs> but it's, that's that's not the point right now. The point is, after they get what they want, do they sit on their hands? They're actually putting in the work. They are. So, and I believe that a lot of men too should begin to open their eyes and see and, work harder, and stop hating and, and stop, you know, trying to throw shade at women and all mm. that. Just do your thing, and the sky is big enough for all of us to fly. Amen. Really. Shout out to um, Femi Jacobs and uh, Femi. Yeah, Femi Jacobs. Oh, I take that for me. 
Oh. <laughs> and of course, the women making us uh, making it possible for us to have this kind of conversation now. I mentioned yeah. just a few. There are lots of them um, in the industry that are not necessarily interested in PR or media. They are basically putting in the work and churning out great movies and yeah. content. So Could've big seen. shout out to them. And maybe it would be nice to also remember someone like Kiki Modi who did who got the nom Emmy nomination. We didn't have the time to talk about that. Congratulations, so, girl. Yeah, congrats to her. Even if she doesn't win it, which I actually think she should win. I it. think so too. But I've seen the even lineup. if I mean this nomination is a big deal, so shout out to Kiki. Shout out to, Shout out to all the women putting in, putting in the work. Okay, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or just tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. You can also send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906057519. Also, watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, good to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washenke and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.